you guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here today to bring a review for One Piece episode 1026. A very action-packed episode. So I don't think this review will be much longer. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be long at all, actually, really. But let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is... We, this episode can be split into two parts, and that is everything that happens with Kinemon and company, and then Roof Beast. And so, everything that happens with Kinemon and company is very simple. They're running, trying to rejoin this war, trying to help out, and they bump into Orochi. And so, this leads to a fight between Orochi and Kinemon and company. And then, after that, you are left off with the teaser of Ryzo versus uh, Orochi's ninja. I forget his name, but... Ballad of the Ninja, I remember when this came up in the manga, I remember saying something on the lines of, I don't really care about this fight, don't really care if it's skipped over, that kind of vibe, and yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at that when I say, I'm mentioned that fight, but in regards to Kinemon versus Orochi, Kinemon and company versus Orochi rather, uh, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember if this is the moment where he actually does die within the series, but I'm pretty sure this is it because we see quite a few people cutting off heads. But when they cut off heads, it was just like, okay, the head's gone now kind of thing. But when Kinemon actually does his strike and take out his head, that's when we see the blood splatter. So I feel like that's when the true head was hit. Then he can't live without a head, you know, head gone, no brain function, dead kind of thing. So I think this is the moment that Orochi dies within the series, but I can't guarantee it. Simply because I didn't really care about Richie as a character, wasn't really maintaining his story kind of kind of thing, but I'm pretty sure he's dead now. So when we move on to Roof Peace, this is pretty much the worst generation. Still getting still getting smacked about. Uh they are barely holding on and the focus is really on Luffy versus Kaido with obviously Big Mum. Well she does intervene from time to time intervenes more than the others but um with big mom and you know zero kid law killer being spectate spectators kind of thing for the most part they do get involved here every now and then but majority was Lu um luffy versus kaido and like i said previously they were getting pretty much slapped around there were i did notice a up in animation for this bit of the episode i'm not gonna lie but there is just one bit of the episode, or this part rather, that bugged me. And that's simply when Luffy and Kaido they start to have these like clashes. And the reason why this bugged me is because Luffy can't fly. And the way they portrayed that bit of the episode made it feel like Luffy was flying. I mean, he can fly and get four, but you know, for the majority of this episode, he's in base. Luffy can't fly in, ba fly in base. So that bit did bug me. So, as I was watching the episode, I feel like there were some filler kind of bits added here and there, which I didn't have no problem with, I just felt, I just felt like I, um, I felt like they added it. I could be mistaken on that though, because it's still been a long time since I read the, the fight in the manga, so I could be just mistaken on that. One thing I want to point out though is that Luffy is doing a lot of fighting, especially in this episode, in base base which is a kind of a testament to his strength really because and also a testament to the new um Ryu Haki as well which he's been utilizing a lot because to be fighting Kaido in base <laughs> when you when Kaido and Luffy first fought back in um the Flower Capital Luffy got one shot and then gear four so for him to be fighting now in base and throwing some gear two as well and at the end gear three as well is a testament to Luffy uh, what else did I want to say about this um, bit of the episode? Uh, so eventually, towards the end of the episode, we see how they were able, or rather Kid, Law and Zoro Killer, were able to separate Kaido and Big Mom. So Big Mom's been sent flying, well, rather she was sent knocked down. Uh, so congrats, they, con they um, achieved what they wanted to achieve by separating two. So that just leaves Kaido versus the Supernovas. How do you think that's going to go? Could they fare better now knowing that there's only one of them there? What do you think something's going to happen in that? Um, that something's going to happen. Something else is going to happen. That's a question to you anime only watchers. 
one the, probably the last thing I want to mention about this bit of the episode is that we know that Zoro is still suffering after the conquest of the sea and we know this because there's two outlining things and a third thing that you can argue is probably because of the conquest of the sea so the first one is that how you have people like Killer saying that yo bro like you good that could be seen as them you know just uh what is it that's not really a good one to use because you know um the person to judge your condition better is like yourself kind of thing but it does show like i feel like that line was running there to show that other was thinking let's just just let other others trying to let us know that you know zero is damaged the second thing and the more um prominent is the fact that we see zero saying things like you know i have to do this and then coughing up blood it's more of the coughing up blood which was, which was my second point so that shows you that you know that like, even when not getting hit and trying to attack zoro is you know, having a hard time with things and I guess another third thing which I was going to mention but you know I'm, I'm assuming it's because of conquest of sea he's panting a lot so he seems to be in a bad way so do you think Zoro is going to be able to last out the remainder of this fight again another question to the anime only watches <clears throat> but that's it that's everything I've got to say about this episode because it was a very action-packed episode the Orochi vs Kingman stuff wasn't very excited they could have filled that out I made it more exciting, not gonna lie. But the roof piece stuff was good, even though our heroes were majority getting the beat down for this episode, but it was still good stuff to see. So for those reasons, action packed episode wants a four star rating and like always guys I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care, have a nice day.